there is not a single person, no matter how, how much you advance in knowledge, no matter how much you know about the deed, no matter how much and how many years you've been righteous and you've been attending lessons and attending al masjid, there is not a single person, including myself, that is above the need of attending lessons. No one is above the need of attending lessons. This is your only connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every lesson you attend, you learn something about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It keeps you conscious and alert of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during your week. No one is above this. And the greatest example that teaches us this, when you look into the seerah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you find that Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam during his life, he used to have private gatherings. And he also used to have public gatherings. Private gatherings is where he used to train a sahaba that were going to carry the deen after him. Like Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, Umar, Uthman, Mu'adh, Ibn Mas'ud, Ibn Abbas. These companions radiallahu anhu that carried the deen after Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and spread it to the entire world used to have a gathering and a private closed gathering with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also used to have public gatherings after Salat al-Asr, after Salat al-Fajr, in where Allah, the, the ignorant one, and the knowledgeable one and everyone was there. And you find something incredible that in the public gatherings, Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu would still be in there. Umar radiallahu anhu would still be sitting there. Um Mu'adh radiallahu anhu, the same companion that Rasulullah described and said, Mu'adh, that the most knowledgeable in the entire ummah of Rasulullah concerning what's halal and what's haram was Mu'adh radiallahu anhu. Yet you still find him sitting in the gathering where Jibreel walks in and he comes to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he says to him, Ya Rasulullah, Mal Islam, what is Islam? When Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam responds, Buni al Islam ala khamsu, wa Mu'adh bin Jabal radiallahu anhu has taken this ages ago and he's still sitting there. And uh, Jibreel asks, Mal Iman? And he says to him, Al Iman wa tu'mira billahi wa malaikati. Ayyu wa malaikati. This is some knowledge we've taken years ago. And we're about to teach the deen after you're passing away. But still, you still found them in that gathering. Well, Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, up until the last moment of Rasulullah life on earth, he still attends the gathering. It doesn't matter what knowledge you know, and how many times you hear it, and how many times it's repeated. And Quran, the entire Quran Allah Azza wa Jal considers, and he describes it as mathani, a repetitive word, and a repetitive Quran. Why? Because the point is the reminder itself. The reminder, ذكر فإن الذكرى تنفع المؤمنين. The reminder is what will benefit a person. Or the gathering itself is not only to increase the knowledge. That's not it. because if that was the case, then the Sahaba رضي الله عنه, half of them that used to attend the public gatherings of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم already knew what he was going to say. يعني someone walks in, يا رسول الله teach me how to make wudu. When Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spends the entire lesson teaching a person how to make wudu and the biggest Sahaba are sitting in the lesson. For, يعني, don't dare to fall into that mistake in where you think this is a choice you have. Sometimes I can come, sometimes I don't. يعني, whether it's a Sunday lesson we're talking about or we're speaking about other lessons in other massages during the week, have something for yourself in where you're always consistent with. This is going to be your fuel in your relationship with Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. Otherwise, it's going to be replaced by something else, something that يعني, Wallahu alam would have very bad consequences on a person. Well, with the, يعني, the circles of knowledge, they are a reason for why one's sins are forgiven, as mentioned in the hadith. And they are a reason for why Allah's tranquility will descend upon a person. If Allah Azza wa tranquility would descend, what does that mean? It means a person's iman increases. That's what tranquility means. And they are covered by mercy. And if a person is covered by mercy, that means the hatred and the enmity and the jealousy, that all comes out of his heart. As the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam يعني, mentions in the hadith about the benefit of, the, of attending the lessons, الرحمة, الملائكة, that the angels would rub shoulders with them. يعني, if the angels are present, that means a shayateen would go away from your life. And what has destroyed the people's life other than a shayateen? You know, another benefit is that Allah Azza wa Jal would make mention of them to his angels that are fil mala il a'la, meaning Allah praises them. For, يعني, they have many, many benefits. And this is يعني, the intention of a person when he comes to the lesson is so he can يعني, gather this kind of uh, benefit and understand that, يعني, that as much as he grows into Islam and his knowledge grows, he is never ever above the need of attending lessons. Wallahu a'lam. 
and to accept that tawbah from us and we ask him subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us people of the Quran, people of the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam innahu wa liyu thalika al qadiru alayhi wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in